Hey guys, what's up? It's the Gas the Gengar, and last time we left off, we got to mom and we died horribly due to a tear mishap. But this time we're going to start another Isaac run, and hopefully it will be better than last time. Now, I don't think we will actually be getting a good run. Um, and I know I put myself down a lot last episode, and it actually turned out pretty well in the end, especially for a new save fight. Uh, yeah, a new save run. But hopefully this time we can get a little further, and by a little further I mean maybe beat mom. And I just don't. I, I want to sleep. Like the, from that sentence alone, if you don't, uh, I'll smell almond milk. Damage down tears if you feel nutty. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get this. Who knows? Maybe this can actually come in handy. Uh, it just seems so far that we've just gotten a lot of shit shows. Um. Yeah, I'm recording this directly after the last uh, Isaac run because I'm tired, but I also cannot sleep because if I go to bed now, I ain't waking up till 9 o'clock at night, and I don't want to be... I don't want my sleep schedule to be that fucked up to where I'm sleeping until 9 o'clock at night and waking up at fucking whatever, going to bed at like... 4 a.m. or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but so far, I'm definitely digging the actual tiers instead of, you know, just one big tier. And I, f I feel like maybe a lot of people may have a bias to that item. Uh, if it's set up correctly, at least. Um, sadly, I mean, if we, had the, if we had the item that gave us permanent homing tiers, I don't think that would have been much of a problem. But we didn't have that, so we were pretty screwed. I'm, not, I'm also not really a fan of the nutty tears of almond milk. Um, but, I mean, I'm, I'm, I definitely prefer this. Well, Duke of Flies isn't hard. Probably one of the bosses that I can do pretty well. It's just that I'm not the best. And I also hope that you just can't I just hope that my, my keyboard isn't way too loud because I, I don't like the I don't like mechanical keyboards. I know that they prefer for gaming, but for recording they can be a monster to edit out. I, mean, I don't want to hear the clacking and clicking of someone's keyboard when they're playing a game. And I would play with controller, but playing with controller for Isaac just doesn't feel right to me. It's kind of like playing with controller with uh, Terraria doesn't feel right to me. Also, we might be getting first. Floor. Nope. I was hoping for a first floor devil room, but apparently that's just too good to be true. And we have only one bomb arm. Uh, we'll save it. We'll save it. So right off the bat we have tears and milk. Um, up. I think I would have preferred soy milk. I know it drops the damage on nothing, but how fast it fires, it's usually not a problem. And if you're- if you haven't played Isaac before, this probably sounds like a lot of gibberish to you when I'm pr trying to strategize and shit. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, but if you do wish to know, um, I don't even remember what the item was that I just listed. Uh, oh, oh, soy milk. Um, soy milk basically makes your tears a Gatling gun, but lowers the damage down to nothing. Um, so, it, it's kind of a win-lose kind of deal. I'm gonna miss blood bombs. But, I personally like it because I prefer, like, rapid fire damage, but I would also prefer, uh, like, I, I would love if I can get, like, a rapid fire damage with decent attack, you know? And again, who wouldn't? But basically, with the rate of fire this has, it's almost soy milk. It's just that the crazy tears make it crazy. Right. This is definitely not as much as a hindrance as I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to like stop me dead in my tracks. But it's actually not that bad. 
I feel like if one thing I could have not picked up the last run was probably that mushroom. Fuck. Oh no, we had the temporary heart, that's right. I don't believe the high priest is summons mom, right? Yep. So let's pick this up. There, knock at the half heart. Okay, whatever. Um, also, if you see a blue rock with an X over it, like uh, the last one, I think I found one. Uh, it's a rock that has a item hidden in it, and they're not hard to come across. I, want, I don't know if that dime is worth it. I feel like that was a waste, but at the same time, I just don't want to lose too many hearts by the time I get the mom. Well, not mom, but the boss of this floor. And this game likes to throw a lot of stupid, difficult rooms at you early on, no matter what point in the game you're at. Like, in my last run, I beat mom. Like, not the last run, like, the one I recorded, but... The one before that, before the update video, I did beat Mom and that was a new save, so I could have probably just continued after that, but... I don't know, I feel like I was kind of cheating. Especially if I was going to start a new series. Or, I don't know, I don't know, if, honestly, if this will actually be a series quite yet, but... Who knows? I am having fun playing this. And it gives me reason to play The Binding of Isaac more. So, I don't know how that can be bad. And it is a nice break from something that, you know, requires 50 plus hours of gameplay through a, a huge story driven thing. And this is just Isaac, you know? It's not heavily story driven, though there is a story there if you want to look for it. Or not even look for it. It's just, there's a story when you start the game and a story when you beat the, the level. Or not level, but. You know, I mean, if you beat mom or something or go further than mom, there's always like a little alternate ending thing unlocked. But you don't have to go look for a bunch of items or catch certain things to make. It's just a nice break, you know? Uh, have we got the item room this one? We have not. We have three hat. Oh, we have three keys. No, I'm not gonna be. Definitely not gonna be using the keys I could have last time. Alright, so we get a devil room for free. Uh, I think I'll save that until after- I know that we already lost it this floor because uh, we've taken a red heart of damage and that, uh, I think that automatically means that you don't get a devil room. Oh, Trail of Tears, that's a familiar item. I don't know if I want to keep the item display on. I think I'm going to keep it off. Um, because it just- uh, I just feel like it's taking up too much of the screen. Kind of like how the map is not... I prefer it. Like, I'd rather see the room, you know? So there's only one room left on this floor. I still don't know if that dime would be worth it, but I do know that there is a hidden room in one of these three areas, so... Fuck. We're gonna lose the soul heart. Fuck. I'm not trying to purposely be bad, and I'm also not trying to put myself down, I just... I'm not confident in the skills that I have built over the years of playing Isaac, you know. It's just not one of the many things I can say I am a pro at and I can do this without a problem, you know. So let's get to the brothers of the boss. Uh, just remembered that there was a boss in there and I'm just stupid. So the boss room is up there and to the right. So, with the way we've gone too far, but I think we're only on floor two, and it's already ten minutes in. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, Larry Jr. isn't hard. 
And as I say that, I'm probably going to get hit a lot. At least I feel like it. See, I don't know if this there's like a pattern to Larry Jr. or he just kind of goes where he wants. Because he doesn't ever really seem focused on Isaac. Mom's coin purse. Home party. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Cheers up. And lemon party will save that. Um, double room. So we have tears that will make people fear us, or I believe that item to the right makes it so when we're only at one heart we get a damage boost. Um I'm not digging either of these deals, mainly because I lose two full hearts. Uh, fuck, but I feel like a fear shot. Our tears aren't the best. And I may have just screwed over the run with that. But, you know, maybe something to get people away from us would help. See? Like okay. that. See, that's the spider to the right uh, basically has the swing milk. Uh, as you can see, it's just shooting like a Gatling gun. I also believe that it is exclusive to this, uh, not DLC, this mod. Fan mod. So. Oh boy, maybe I shouldn't just drink e or eat any pill that I find laying on the ground, you know, maybe that's not the best idea. Also, I'm really regretting taking that, taking the fear shot now. these temporary hearts are not lasting. That's all my fault, I know that, but I'm just not a good Isaac player. Little dumpy, puffy buddy? What does he do? Maybe he doesn't do anything to him in a room with poop. Yeah, it could be it. It would make sense. I just feel like I'm cheating the game just by doing this. He also might not move till I take damage. That was full health, I think. Oh no, it was you at the floor. I mean, fear shot isn't bad. It's definitely helping out with keeping stuff away from us. Though we have taken a bit of damage, so I think Dumpy Buddy has been hurting people. Uh, we only have one key left, but we have 24 coins. So I don't know if that uh, money room is going to be worth it or not. And I don't know if we're going to be getting a key. Uh, ah, we'll go for it. And it will be wasted. Yeah, maybe we can get some money in the... This. Uh, we're getting a phone call. Be right back. Well, that was weird. She sees I'm getting a phone call, goes to answer it, person hangs up, calls back, and apparently it was a disconnected number. So, that's a thing. I feel like I'm setting this run up for failure, to be honest. 
Like, not, not like, oh, I'm gonna lose on purpose, but more like, I definitely did not think this through when I was choosing my items and skills. Uh, we got the item right there, okay. Fuck. Well, I didn't do too bad that work. Plus, we got two more uh, fake hearts, right? Yeah. Please be an item. That's why it. Oh, Guppy's Paw. So, Guppy's Paw is an item that turns every one actual heart into three soul hearts. So. That's like, I don't want to use it, but at the same time, if it comes down to it, I probably will have to use it. Oh. Fuck, this is gonna suck. I hate these enemies so much. Bombs, that will definitely come in handy. I wonder. I was hoping that there would be a hidden room right there so that way I could just bomb myself into the two key room. I think that's something you can do. Um, this room, I'm hoping for maybe the meat. Or what dinosaur meat or whatever it was called. The damage and health up. So we definitely need more damage. And I definitely am not comfortable with just the majority of soul hearts because, you know, soul hearts. They're not there permanently. That's my main thing against them. The butter bean. Great. It's not a bad item, it's just I don't need it, it's a bad item. It, it's stupid. It, it's just an item that makes you fart. Hey, he did a thing. Looks like he confuses and poisons enemies randomly. Oh, sh I'm shooting my own fucking partner. What the hell? Um, please be a key in this room, please. Fuck. Uh, I don't know how this run's gonna go. I feel like I'm gonna miss an item room this floor. I'd rather not, but it doesn't seem like I'm getting any keys. It's fine. So, I, I really have nothing to talk about at this point, and it doesn't seem like this run's going to be going anywhere until I get a key. But, um, I really still have just been watching random things that YouTube uh, has suggested to me. And this morning, I actually got to watch the documentary about the Edward Netty video game. And it was really cool to see how passionate the voice actors were about their characters and everything. It's just nice to see people take passion in that kind of stuff, you know? Like, they actually felt like they were their ki- well, they don't feel like they were their characters, but they felt really close to their characters, like, yeah, we act the same and everything, and it was really cool. It's weird, though, seeing, like, people that were, like, 30-so at the time voice act kids that were only supposed to be, like, 10 or so, I think. But then on top of that, like, thinking that 
that was years ago when that well when the Adernetti Mis Misadventures came out and I I remember seeing the commercials for that I'm like these people are fucking old now right so we have slow and harm tears also I feel, I feel like I had to do that I'm probably gonna regret it but I feel like it was needed like we are not doing well with hearts I feel like I should have only, I feel like I should have used it like as soon as we got to that one heart and it took damage you know so that's if it was a double bomb door it'd be fine seems like whenever we get uh, whenever every anything we find that we want we need keys for it There's only two ways we can go now. Um, also, we bombed up and there was nothing there, so we'll go up and bomb down here. Yeah. Alright, so if you can see right here, we are actually getting uh, two items from the last run. The Mask of Infinity, which is damage reduction, and the Trail of Tears, and I am completely okay with that. Um, the damage reduction will definitely help because, as I said, we are taking real stupid damage. Um, and the Trail of Tears is great because it damages enemies that walk behind us. Which, there are enemies in this game that do so, like Lust or, um, I think, Greed. Okay, so the boss should be sought soon. I feel like this room was also in the last run. I know we've seen this room. I, I do know that for a fact. Okay, one more and we can go to that double uh, key room. So I, I really do want to know what's in there. Down. How about I think it's left control to drop this? Yeah. I ain't, I ain't I ain't putting my stats down any more than they already are. So if I do get a pair of scissors or something, I will gladly go back to that one. And Megamind. Um is kind of an okay boss. But not too bad. Though his projectiles will get pretty insane. Our butt. <laughs> I was gonna say our butt, buddy. But um, it seems that our flatulent friend over here actually like blocks shots. I did not know that. Speed and range up. Okay, that's not bad. I do not have the hearts for deal. I don't know what cattail. I think cattail makes it so we fly. Um, hold on. Okay, Google. The Binding of Isaac, cattail. I, I do think that this just makes us fly, which I kind of want. Um. So, <sighs> shit. grants a third of a chance for replenish, uh, replacing a pickup with a normal chest or gold chest, but also a third of a chance. So what is it? So it's a no. It's a no. If it was an item that made me fly, maybe I would uh, think about it, but it, I don't. I don't need that.
Are we on mom's floor? Holy shit. So fear shot will be good because that way in mom's room I can make it so enemies will stay far away from me. Nice if on this floor you get a health up item. Because we made it this far with a good amount of uh, decent damage. Um, shit, that was stupid. And hell, we got a double, double dam or double bomb room. And another key. All right. So these rooms will have some items in here for us. Um. All right. So it's another room. So if you bomb right here. I believe this is an item or a store maybe oh shit oh my god look at all these items dog food dog food lard lard dog food shit And that was our last bomb too. Shit, I did not think that through. Okay, so we're we're boned. What? Didn't I just come from What? I thought that would have brought me back to where I was. Well this sucks. I think I just missed out on an item room. fucked up or maybe it reset the floor I don't know I feel like we were already on the bomb floor we got one more item on now so let's make that count right now we're taking a lot of stupid damage again I don't know how to feel about that. So this bomb. So this should not be too bad since we have a fear shot. After this, I might watch some good old-fashioned anime. Um, I actually found out recently that I'm in a filler arc of Naruto, and then after I found out that I could actually skip the, like all the episodes to like maybe half of the last episode so far, because I'm still the original Naruto. Like, I I'm not really into it. So I don't watch it that much, and I don't force myself to actually get caught up when I need to. So I I could, be, I, I was told that I could actually skip all the episodes right now and just go straight to the last episode and then watch half of that and then just start Shippuden, which I feel like I might do, but at the same time it's like, eh, why, why force it? But apparently there's like a lot of bullshit episodes too, so it's like I don't wanna just sit and watch filler non-stop. Fuck, I feel like I might be using this last heart soon. 
especially with this fucking shit. Yep. So it's gonna be like the second time we close the mom. And it's also gonna be the second time we lose the mom. That will definitely help. Skip that. I just don't feel comfortable being in that room with whatever hearts I do have left. Also, I don't feel like being in any room with the amount of hearts that I have left. I am kind of happy that those blew off what it did. Open this room. I think this is to the shop, which for luck we might be finding a soul heart for five. If not, we can donate. Because this is the last floor. Oh, yeah, alright. Um, if we had a bomb, I would try to bomb for five coins. But we don't. It seems like I'm gonna have to be in this room. Are ghosts immune to fear? Oh, no, nope, they are not. Great. So it's one ghost down. I think there's three in here though. about to walk up on top of the spikes. That would have been horrible. So be horrible is I'm gonna die before even getting the mom this time. Holy shit I'm doing horrible. Yep. Unless I get like Lard or something, I don't think I'm gonna be going anywhere soon. Attack fly. Well, this was a decent run. Definitely not the run I expected to happen, but it was a run. We're just going to the boss room and praying for the best. Um, here. I haven't seen any rocks recently, so I don't think that's part of the question. We have seen a lot of shit. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get lucky and we can actually get mom's allies to stay away from us. What gave us a heart? Whatever gave us a heart, I'm proud that we got it. Because that might have just saved this run. Oh shit. I honestly don't know what to think. Well, actually, I'm not trying to think. I'm trying to win. Mom seems to somehow be hurting herself. That's something I'm confused about. I actually know what I think is happening. I think she's hurt stepping on us, but we're not taking much damage because of the infamy, and then she's also stepping on the spiders that she's creating. Isaac. Holy called. shit, we did it! His mother. Fueled with the desire to serve, second God try was bearing down on Isaac. I will do 
as I am told, my lord, I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line so for Isaac. Maybe I, his mother maybe the series was far won't be as long as I thought. For him. Shit. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. And that's the first ending of The Binding of Isaac. Holy shit. Now, I don't know if this unlocks the Bible. Um, but basically there's an item called the Bible, and it's an insta-kill for mom. And we unlocked a good amount of stuff. Though, if we go to the items, we have barely scraped the bottom of the barrel of how much stuff there is to unlock. And... Next time, we're gonna go for... Uh, maybe a... Maybe a Mag Magalyn run? Whatever, um... If you liked the video, please hit that like button, comment down below if, uh, if I fucked up somewhere, or I don't know, if you're just glad that I made it out alive. I know I am. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I hope you all guys enjoyed, and I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. So until next time, bye bye